Hey guys, so I recently got the Zephyrus G14, the 2023 model, and I have the model with the RTX 4060. Uh, I don't have an over-the-top configuration because I already have the SCAR 18, and I just wanted a light machine that can game a bit if I sit in bed and chill and work and such. So here's what I wanted, uh, what I want to show you. So basically, this unit came with 16 gigs of RAM, and you have one more um, slot so you can add another stick of memory. I just added another 16 gig stick and my CPU performance basically increased by 10%. That's <laughs> what you need to know. Uh, and it's that easy. Uh, something else that you can do, you can also undervolt the CPU and you will also get some extra points. For reference, uh, this is, um, let me close uh, MS Afterburner because I don't want to see this layout. So I'll open this again. So these are my results for Signbench R23. Usually, like most YouTubers, when they do uh, their, their testing and so on, uh, they get uh, 17,000 17, point three or something like that, 17.3 thousand uh, for the multi-score. And I have 18.4 right now. So I undervolted my CPU, which uh, increased the score by like four to 500 points. Uh, and then I also changed the RAM and I added one more stick and now I have dual channel memory and I reached 18,400. So this is a pretty, uh, pretty good improvement and you can get this easily. So once you get this unit, uh, also be sure to download um, G Helper. So this is a free utility. If you don't know about it, it's basically like an armory crate, but it was uh, created by uh, many developers on GitHub. So this is pretty much a free software with all the functionalities and it also has undervolt. So if you go in here under fans plus power, you go to advanced and you have undervolting in here. You can also undervolt, change the fan curve, change the profiles and it has uh, some other functions as well. So it, it is a great tool to use. It's also free. So you can use this instead of Armory Crate. Um, yeah, something else in TimeSpy, these are my results now after undervolting, overclocking the GPU, and adding one more memory stick. So the average score is under 10,000 or around 10,000, and I have 11,000 right now. So I'm in the low uh, percentile that got uh, some pretty decent results with this machine. Now, my previous score uh, was 11,000 on the CPU score. So again, 1,000 points lower. If you want to get some free performance, do what I told you. As soon as you get this machine, add another uh, stick of RAM because usually AMD CPUs uh, love dual channel memory and this applies to Intel as well, but it's probably more sensitive on the AMD CPUs. And also if you have higher frequency RAM, it will um, you will have even better results. But we cannot do that, unfortunately, because we have one RAM stick that is soldered to the motherboard and that is a 4800 uh, mega transfers uh, per second stick. So yeah, you'll have to buy another 4800 megahertz stick. So thank you guys for watching. And um, in two to three days, uh, I will receive a Conductor Not Extreme thermal paste and I will repaste this uh, Zephyrus G14 with Conductor Not Extreme on both CPU and GPU because the GPU has thermal paste and the CPU has only Conductor Not thermal paste, not the Conductor Not Extreme, which improves the temps by an extra five degrees or so. So. See you guys uh, in the next video for those of you that are interested in seeing the results. So yeah, thank you for watching and see ya.